for another food review here in the neighborhood of Pilsen. Beautiful neighborhood, nothing but Latinos here. So you know taquerias are literally like seven on every single block. And you gotta do so much to survive here. We're here now showcasing Senorita's Cantina. And I was here when they first opened up and man, they blew me away. And I had to come on back. So I brought a special guest for the first time trying it out, my cousin Edgar. Hello, I'm here for the free food. Which makes a lot of sense. You know, family <laughs> always taking advantage of me. Anyways, um, no man, so Senorita's Cantina was nice enough to let us come on in, try out their food and their food selection when it comes to tacos, especially in this neighborhood. You got to stand out. And for me, there's a reason why I'm here. So guys, let's go check it out. Let's have some fun, have a good time. And uh, I'm going to I'm gonna do this real quick. I got to, Pilsen's full of nothing but graffiti and stickers. And I got I to gotta make it up there. Come on, buddy. Ah, I barely made it. All right, I'm out of here. Let's do it. Let's go. So man, I appreciate you having us here. Like, I'm excited for the talk because it's been, what, a year and a half since, like, the beginning of 2019 yeah. started being here. How long have you guys been around, and what makes you stand out from other places? Mm, well, we've been here since October of 2019. Okay. What makes us stand out is um, our chefs. Mm -hmm. Our chefs are from Puebla, Mexico. Okay. So they bring their authenticity from their dishes that they make out there. They bring it here to Pilsen, and that's, uh, that's pretty much where we're at. And now, with, again, Pilsen, there's like seven taquerias in every single oh, yes. block. And you see new ones coming and go literally almost in the same year, very, yeah. very fast. What makes you stand out from these other taquerias, especially with the tacos of you just trying to change up the game? Our taste. Mm -hmm. um, we have our own sauces. These guys make everything from scratch. Mm -hmm. um, I guess what we could do is uh, you guys could taste it and yeah. you, can, you can know for yourselves why we're popular right now. Yeah, I was here before. And trying them out, I was, you know, again, I've been to Ponto Place in, mm -hmm. in, in Pilsen, but trying it out, I was like, damn, I've never had this type of meat inside a taco. I've never had these type of mixes together. It's like a Chicago style hot dog. Hey, and the same yes. thing here, you have all your toppings already set. Like, yeah, cool, maybe if you want to add stuff and take stuff off, that's your choice. But you have them already kind of like set, and I think that's the dope. It's making everything easy. It's like, yes. what do you want to eat? You know what? I already know what you want to eat. There you go. You don't have to pick and choose. You don't have to overcomplicate and have some fun. Yes. And plus, since you're a bar as well, people get to have drinks, enjoy themselves, and have a good time. So, dude, I'm excited to try this out. And again, it's once again a pleasure to be here. I'm excited for you. Oh, yeah. Well, let's get this started. <laughs> let's do it. This is a strawberry mojito. It's made, in, made with mints, oh. rum, strawberry, strawberry puree, freshly made here. And then um, a little strawberry liqueur. Yeah, I can drink this. I could, just, I could just drink it, like, just to drink it without thinking it's alcohol. The strawberry and mint just hit so well together. I'm not even a mint person, but I'm, a, and I'm upset it actually works really well. <laughs> no, this is... So there's tequila, orange juice, a little triple sec, squirt, and a little lemon. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Now we have two oh straws, so we're going to do the whole, like... Uh, oh, just like that? Yeah, we can. Okay. Go, go, go. <laughs> I'm like, it's like, alright, we'll do it. Oh wow, that, I didn't think it could get better than the mojito, but that is above and beyond way better than the mojito, this is so good. I will say the mojito is pretty Try good. It. It's if amazing. If people who know, I already love these things, so I'm just happy about this. <laughs> I really don't even care about the drink anymore. All right, hold on. Let's see. <laughs> Can we get two more, please? Yeah, it's only <laughs> it's, a little sip here. This is like the stuff you eat and like, the little pop sands next to it, like with the chicharron and lotes and all that stuff, like where they mix it with the fruit. This, because of the rim and everything, the snacks, this is full of tajin, all these, I'm happy. I mean, presentation alone, again, this is supposed to be a gar, uh, a, a gar, huh, I guess I am tipsy, a bar and grill, <laughs> a gastro bar, if you want to say. Yeah, visually, it's very pleasing, for sure. Please, sir. I go first. You're the one that he's literally been pulling the table closer and closer so to him. <laughs> yeah. I just need something to lean on after yeah. I have all these drinks. <laughs> all right. Uh, I guess we'll start off with one of these bad boys. I don't, right? Yeah. Let's let's do that. Let's do that. Here. Bring it a little closer to you. Oh. 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 Let's just. All right. Let's there just. I don't know what to do with my hands right now. Here. I'll grab do I one just of these. Okay. Yeah. You grab the other one. All right. Cheers. 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 Sir. Enjoy. Mm -hmm. 
fried. Yeah, they'll say flautas, you get messed up real, real fast. Yeah. Oh, the chicken tea's good. Chicken tea is always amazing to me. Um, man, with the crema and a little bit of avocado in there, mm -hmm. just perfect to me. And the salsa marinated around, it's not making the flauta, like the tortilla, soggy in any single way. And again, mm. like, the flauta is actually cooked really, really well. It's not too soft, it's not too hard, it has a nice crunch to it. Like you say with the chicken tinga and all the vegetables around it, just really good and literally, finger looking good, so. To me, the pickled onions really add to the flavor as well. Again, I have no clue what this plate is. Obviously, super green everything, but I'm pretty sure if we take a bite. Mm, our chilies. Ah, there you go. I still don't know. Right, let's move this plate over. We'll scoot this out the way. All right. Go ahead. Well, I can't be rude. I have to finish this one. All right, all right. You're fair. You're fair. I'll go first on this one. Hmm. I don't even know how to, like, do I cut this? Do I how to... Use a knife if you don't look like an animal. I'm a seafood guy. <laughs> this is good. I like this a lot. Let's see. Oh, it has a little kick at the end, too. A lot of green. And the kick is the end. And, damn, there you go. It's, it's, it's pretty much like a Mexican ceviche, but green. It's really good. The only complaint I have is a little bit saltier than how I like it. Mm -hmm. I don't like it as salty, but it's really, really good. Oh, this is very, very good. This is very good, especially after the drinks. I think the salt uh, goes really, really well with the drinks. We have eight tacos here, all different toppings, all different meat. This is ridiculous. Like, what place, seriously, what, like, tell me, what place offers that? Leave it in the comments, seriously. What place offers not just eight different meats, but eight different toppings as well? None. And that's why they stand out, and that's why they're surviving past COVID. All right, dip Definitely it. I, a and wide please. Variety. So they're all different. So you, he's taking a bite, I'm taking a bite. Like, okay. it, I think it, we should start off with the asada, right? That's like, Staple, right? uh, which one's the asada? Is that this one? I think it's this one. <laughs> I can't tell because there's so many toppings on it. He went this. that way. I think it's this one. All Let's right. see. Here. Let's try it. I'm just going to, we're just going to take a bite and just go from there. That's asada. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. Question mark. I think that's asada. Question mark at the end. Yeah. Either way, I'm happy with this. I know it's good. I like the pickled onion. The mystery meat is really good. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but I eat it anyways. And that's how that's how we're eating all these tacos. We're just taking a bite. Bite and a half. When I think vegetarian, I get very stereotypical. I'm like, oh, salads. I can eat this. I can eat this. All right, we switch. Swap. This is pastor. Okay, yeah, all right. Really good. And then you had the vegetarian Flor one. Flor de calabaza, uh-huh. Both of them were delicious to me. This pastor just hits different, man. The piña in there with the uh, pickled onions. It's a really good combination. Too. Why aren't pickled onions utilized so much more? I have no idea. They should be, though. It's so good. And you're trying to say, like... every meal. It's ridiculous. Uh, what was this one again? No, you don't expect me to just leave these, do you? Can I have these? You already bit them, so I'm I mean, forget, forget the camera guys in the back, whatever. We'll have to order more for them later. You guys are getting McDonald's after this. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, what is this? You're the one that knows the meats better than I do. I can't tell with all the, all the stuff on top. I have no idea. This maybe barbacoa? Barbacoa, maybe? Maybe. This one is the chicken thing that looks barbacoa. like. Barbacoa. Barbacoa. And uh, maybe cochinita bibin, I think. Fish tacos really good. Damn you, fly! No, I no, know. no, no. It's our stuff. It's our <laughs> stuff. Yeah, you see the juice? That's dope. All right. Okay, so here. Remember how I said those tinga flautas were really, really good? Mm -hmm. I really enjoyed those. This is a chicken tinga taco. Not my jam. No. I. It just right. tastes way different to me. You think it's like maybe the texture with it? Um, or just the toppings? The, the, the toppings are definitely different. Yeah, I think it might have been the toppings. I'm not sure. The salsa that they put on the flautas definitely made a big difference for me. Hmm. This one's... What is this? <laughs> I think it's cochinita for me. This is really good. Yeah. This is different. Like this would punch me in the mouth, but in a good way. <laughs> 
I was going to say, you know, he's my family when he eats faster than I do. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's start on the quote unquote least favorite one. Well, which was the chicken tikka. The for tinga. me was, yeah. That one's really good. It is. See the language, man, it's already kicking in. This is really good. We'll bleep it out. We'll bleep it out. <laughs> all right. So, all the sauces are different. All the meats are different. Everything's decorated beautifully. One, when it comes to just visual aspect, it looks delicious. The, do I wish there was more? Yes, but that's also because I'm sharing it with somebody. <laughs> um, that, was, that was really good. And, and like he was saying... They're not the typical cilantro cebolla with every single taco, no matter what meat you have, ha uh, have inside. This is everything different. Even that vegetarian one was pretty damn good. And that one I could easily order again. Just for the fun of it, just be like, I'm eating healthy. You know, like, or the stereotypical, I'm eating healthy. Ooh. Thank you. Oh, that's decorated beautifully. Thank you. All right. Ready? You get the first bite. Oh, I get the first bite? Yes. He's so sweet. <laughs> he knows me so well. Why do we have five forks? <laughs> it's like, we really only need yeah. one, maybe two. <laughs> All right. I'm be the chef part now. Like, okay, it's sliced beautifully. Oh, usually they're like different color on the inside. This is all one color. It's kind of cool. Like it's like lighter on the inside or darker on the inside. That's a really strong flavor, but not not in a bad way. Like this is a really strong flan flavor. I think this is like. Coffee flan. Just dry it up. Like a it's mocha like, kind of thing? Yeah, it's like a mocha. Yeah, actually, yeah. It's like a mocha flan. Mm. Right away. It punches <laughs> you. That's definitely. how you know I'm excited. If I start like swearing, I'm like. It definitely hits you right away. It's really good. If you've seen earlier, like one, the appetizers are fire, but the tacos, like given there's different food here, but the tacos is what I came for. I'm a taco lover, man. Especially being half Mexican, in the neighborhood of Pilsen, full of Latinos, full of primarily Mexicans. You have to stand out with tacos. You have no choice. Every single taco here had different sauces, different meats, different seasonings and toppings. Like everything was extremely unique. And I mean, trust me, the tacos are good, but even if they weren't good, that's that just stands out from everywhere else. The presentation was amazing. The food is amazing. You know, I can't even say some of the names because my accent isn't the best. So sorry, guys. But Senorita's Cantina, man, that was, you guys are snapping. And there's a reason why you survived past COVID. There's a reason why you stand out in a neighborhood full of Latinos, Mexicans, and taqueria shops, man. Like, there's literally a line across the street, you know, trying to get uh, uh, different meats and different tacos and stuff like that. Like, you have to stand out here. and We're not even in the nightlight. You know, like you can just imagine when this place gets packed at night. This is Friday night here. I actually just kind of want to stay. Like they've already got us a little tipsy with a couple drinks in here and there. But this place, this place is a definitely, it, it's a very, very good date night. I'm actually writing notes right now. Um, and this is 100%. I would definitely try this place out. And uh, I got to get a different date. I got to take my cousin home. <laughs>